Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you're having a great day. Today we're going to be checking out how you can install 5PD Dashboard, which is kind of like an online dashboard that hooks into the database of 5PD and lets you see users, departments, reports, arrest reports, and citations. Uh, thank you to the users suggesting we set this up. Um, very, very appreciated for the suggestions. A um, few things that I'm going to assume you already have is a 5PD server set up with your database connected and a web server that supports PHP. Um, those are the two things you're going to need for this. Make sure you have them set up before you start doing this. In this case, I have a website PHP set up for 5pd-bjhdevelopment.com, um, and I have my 5pd server set up with a database. Now, I highly recommend you don't do this on local host. Um, if you are doing this, you should be doing it on a hosted platform where your server is hosted and your website is hosted. This is going to assume that you have all that set up already. If you do decide to do it on local host, you technically can, but there's not really a point um, because you wouldn't be able to access the website externally unless you port forwarded and kept your computer on 24 seven. So there would be no point to that. So hopefully you do host this externally because that's what it's actually designed for. But anyway, to go ahead and install this, you're just going to download the file from the GTA police mods website, agree and download, and then you're going to open it up with WinZip, 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever you use. And then inside this folder, you can see there is the CSS folder, the images folder, all of the things along with a readme. I do recommend you read the readme because it will tell you what to do. Open the database.php and edit your database details and stuff. So make sure to keep that in mind. But what we're going to do is this is our web server folder inside of our web directory. And we're just going to drag these into wherever your web directory is. If this is just a default var www slash html folder, or if it's a custom folder like I have here. And we're just going to drag these all in. That's all you have to do with that. You've already installed the web server there. Now, if you actually went to the website right now, which I did, which is 5pd-bjhdevelopment.com for me, you can see this is on here, but nothing is going to show up because we haven't connected the database yet. Mm -hmm. I will leave this site up so you can see what it's supposed to look like um, if you want to check it out yourself, but obviously it's completely up to you. But this is what it looks like, and we're just going to hook up our database, so pretty much everything's working already. We're going to go into our database.php file and edit it with Notepad or Notepad++. In my case, I'm going to be using Notepad++, and you can see right here, you put your host, your username, your password, your database name, your port, and then that's all you have to do to get the site set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually using my hosted server here, and I have my database, I have my username, my password, my host, my port, and my database name. And we're just going to copy and paste these into there. So we see my username is noodles. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy my username and post it in as noodles. My database is 5m1, so I'm gonna change this from 5pd to 5m1. My password is, I'm not gonna say it out loud, but I see what my password is, and I'm gonna enter this here, and I do um, have it blanked out so you won't be able to see it. And then I my port is just 3306, and I'll copy my host IP, and that's where it just goes up and host up here. Now, while this is all blurred out, you would enter your own details here. That's all you have to do, and you're good to go once you do that. You can close off these files. And then if you go ahead and refresh the page, you can see my users have popped up here. So these are all the users that have played with me on my thing. So you can see my uh, noodles, my call sign six, I'm department LAPD, no rank, no reports, arrests, citations, etc. Your departments, so you can see I, I have LAPD here, we use one max users. Any reports that you filed, arrest reports. So you can see there's a re test arrest report here that I did for identity theft um, and any citations. So you can see once you see that you have your usernames here and everything, you have gone ahead and set it all up correctly and our database is linked and everything so feel free to take a look at the site as an example if you wish um the resources over on the gta police mods forum i know it's not that much of an in-depth tutorial hopefully you know the basic around web development or web installations and stuff this should work on a cpanel instance i haven't tested on cpanel myself i just use an nginx um web hosting VPS thing, but obviously you could probably throw it on a, on a cPanel set system and it should work perfectly fine as long as you have PHP installed. So that's all you have to do. It's really, really simple to get started and get installed. Uh, hopefully this did help you out again. I don't recommend running it on local host. This is more for debugs or overall look at how your department's doing or whatever for admins. Um, but hopefully this did help you out a little bit. Hopefully you learned a little bit on how to install it. It's literally drag and drop and change of database info and you're good to go. So hopefully this did help. Thank you so much for watching. Leave more suggestions for videos down in the comments below and I'll see you tomorrow.